everybody. Happy Knitness. Welcome to the Drug Knitter Podcast. I'm your host, Sophia. Welcome to the show. How's everybody doing, y'all? Um, I got my baby boy down here, so if you hear her crying or anything like that, and if you see some weird cuts because my baby started crying, I had to stop. Yeah, he's fussing. Uh, Puppy, my other baby, my first baby, or one of my first babies, is also here. So anyway, welcome to the show. Happy Knitness. Before I get started, I do want to do a shout out to all my patrons. Are you ready? Alexandra, Amanda, Bronwyn, Elizabeth, Glenna, Jordan, Catherine, Kristen, Lisa, Mary, Michelle, Rihanna, and Sabrina, Sarah. Thank you for being wonderful patrons. Yay! If you want to be a patron, go ahead and click the link below. It is a wonderful, wonderful group of people. We have a lot of fun. And what we do, okay, is that as patrons, you will get access to patterns before they hit the raft. <sighs> this is my life now. Anyway, if you're a patron that you've already seen the pattern that I'm going to feature today, you've already had access to it literally weeks ago. Um, and also my patrons get to see patterns that are coming out, sneak peeks of uh, paid for patterns, and so much more behind the scenes goodness. If you're interested, click the link below. And before we dive into what we're going to talk about today, do y'all see my merch? Well, let me click. Hold on. But bam I have new holiday merch for all y'all who are like me and do not have time to knit this Christmas. You know, I love knitting a Christmas sweater every second year. This year, I don't got the time. I just don't have it. I mean, I'm holding a baby right now. Like, I don't even have time to do a thing but hold and feed this baby. So, <laughs> um, I designed Christmas merch so that way I and all of y'all out there who don't have the time, possibly because you have some life events happening, or if you are knitting things for everybody else but yourself, and you just don't have the time to knit yourself a sweater, I got you covered. I got the style that I'm wearing right now that says it begins with a lot like Christmas. Then I also have another style that says uh, craft, drink, and be merry for all my Michelinous crafters out there. The link to my merch shop is below. If you want your merch before Christmas, then I recommend ordering ASAP because um, all of my shirts are screen printed in the good old US of A. And so if you are somewhere international, it might take a, quite a minute for it to get to you. Okay. Also, I just want to share with you today one of my sponsors of this show, uh, Darn Good Yarn, have a new thing called their sock boxes. Uh, so it's a monthly sock club. I'm grabbing it. Look at my close up. Oh gosh, my face, my postpartum face. Ugh. Every month, if you subscribe to this, you will receive uh, everything you need besides needles to knit a pair of socks. And so like, it comes in this cute little box, and then in this box, um, you have two pre-wound skeins, or no, it's just one skein of yarn pre-wound into two separate cakes. So that way, you don't have to worry about, if, if you're knitting bottom-up socks, like from toe up, you don't have to worry about your socks, skeins being uneven, and then not getting socks that are perfectly the same size. Uh, I also love that because this month's yarn is self-striping yarn. They separated the skines in a way that it starts at the same color. So um, it starts with this dark gray color right here. And you don't have to worry about, okay, this skine starts with green. I have to find the gray repeat. They already did all the hard stuff for you. And it comes with a pattern and some cute blurbs about the yarn. Um, I already started working with the yarn, too. So let's cut out that B-reel and look what I got for y'all, okay? So I already started working on this. And I've absolutely loved the way it's coming out. Um, and I knit my socks two at a time. So I really, really love that they already cut it in half and they already started it at the right color <laughs> baby boy so they already started it at the right color i don't do any guesswork because sometimes when i buy self-striping sock yarns from like big box stores like michael's and things like that um the skeins don't skeins do not start at the right color and so i'm sitting there looking for the pattern repeat so that way my toes match because i don't like nice match toes I used to not care 
okay and now I'm just like completely anal and I care okay and I can't wait to show you how these look like what these look like when they're finished I was hoping that they'd be finished by the time I film this and look how much I got okay yeah yeah it's because of this guy it's because of this guy so if you're interested in that uh sock monthly club that sock box I'm probably calling it the wrong name that's what I'm calling it. Sock of the Month. It's Sock of the Month. If you are interested in joining the Sock of the Month Club by Darn Good Yarn, click my affiliate link below. Yes, I do get a small percentage, but it's also a great, great uh, club to be a part of. I love sock clubs, um, and I especially love it when it's like a complete surprise. Surprise. So, now that we got all that out of the way, let's talk about Knit Miss. We are about 30 days out from Knit Miss. How are y'all doing about that? Okay. Have y'all been knitting for Knit Miss? I have knitted nothing when it comes to gifts. Just because I don't have time to knit gifts this year. I mean, I got a little, little, little grumpy baby right here who needs a nappy nap. That's why he's in his bouncy seat because it, it'll knock him out and I can put him in his bassinet and he can get a good sleep. You know what I mean? But I don't have time to really knit Christmas gifts. So, I still want to knit for Christmas because it's Christmas. I mean, come on. So, I knitted these little Christmas ornaments. And they're not little. Look how big they are, y'all. They're like the size of my hand. They're the size. Is this a thumbnail? This is the thumbnail. A look. Anyway, I have knitted these Christmas ornaments and there are so many variations of these on the internet but I decided to make my own that was super duper easy um and that had a really good finishes on it like this uses a cast on that is closed like the circle is closed I believe it's called a magic circle cast on um there's a tutorial on how to do it in the pattern so you will if you've never done it before guess what you're gonna learn because it's super easy and it's super useful for things like this because then this project become a zero seam project yes you heard me zero seams y'all zero seams so anyway um i've made a whole bunch of these but well, not a whole bunch i made like four bobbles do you guys hear my other baby crying i got too many babies i got a bull baby i got a puppy baby and i got kitty cat babies my kitty cat baby's over here somewhere saying hey he likes to hide in my in my knitting cubbies but look i knitted four of these and i cannot wait to put these on my christmas tree i really wanted to show you what these look like on my tree but in my house we actually do real christmas trees we do not do uh the synthetic ones and so we usually get our tree like halfway through december so that way it's not a fire hazard come christmas and i live in an area where there's no pine trees like in indiana there's like no pine trees where i'm from in jersey ton of pine trees. We have something called the Pine Barrens in Jersey. Where's the Pine Barrens out here? So I have nothing to model these on, but here's a quick catalog pic of what these look like. But bam, aren't they gorgeous in that little container I got them in? Um, but these are huge baubles, and they're so easy to knit. Um, but, and yes, and yes, the pattern is free. It is a free gift to all of my lovelies out there just to get the giving season going. But what I love about this pattern, okay, let me break it down for you. Let me break it down for you. Okay. You start off with a special circle cast on, right? You start with that circle cast on. And then you just do increases until you get to here. And then from here, we have several striping options. You have these ABA stripes, okay? And don't, and don't do what I did. I didn't do jogless knitting, okay? I knitted it with jogs, so I was tired. I don't care, but if you want clean lines, you can look into something called jogless knitting, and it's so easy to do. Um, just look into it. It's really easy, uh, but I didn't do it because I didn't care, uh, but that might bother some of y'all, and then there's this type of stripes, and then believe it or not, this is essentially kind of like stripe knitting, but it's just a slip stitch check design, so you're not... Um, you're only knitting with one color every row. You're not doing color work. It's not stranded and it's super duper easy and mindless. So you got three different designs to pick from. And um, once you do your design, then you just go on and you continue and you do these decreases to close up the circle. Then you add some stuffing. I stuffed mine with polyester stuffing that I can you could get from any 
a craft store, pretty much any craft store, or even a lot of big box stores sell polyester stuffing. I'm going to link uh, an Amazon link to some polyester stuffing below, so just in case you can't get it near you. And then you stuff the heck out of it. Like, I overstuffed mine because I really wanted my big and, like, overstuffed and circular, you know. Um, and then I filled it with stuffing, and then I added the loop, and it's ready to go on your Christmas tree. It is such an easy pattern, and it's free. The link is below, so go ahead, check it out, download it, share it, okay. I, and if you knit these bobbles on your Christmas tree... Snap some pictures, okay, and tag me at the Drunk Knitter on Instagram. Also use my hashtag Drunk Knitter or the Drunk Knitter so that way I can see it and I can feature your Christmas baubles or Christmas ornaments. These are called Jumble Christmas Ornaments, by the way. Your Jumble Christmas Ornaments, I want to see them and I can feature them on my Instagram or even on my YouTube. So, yay, how exciting is that? So anyway, guys, that is it for today. I just wanted to share with you all that stuff. I absolutely cannot wait to see everyone's jumbo Christmas ornaments. I cannot wait to show you what they look like on my tree. Um, anyway, I'm going to go and put this little rascal to bed. And then I am going to pump. And if I'm just going to pump, okay? So... <laughs> Anyway, y'all, I will see y'all next week, and bye-bye.